Welcome to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. Let's get into the Lotto Brokey music video. Now, disclaimer, I am not a Lotto fan, so I have not seen the whole video. I have not heard the whole song, nor am I interested. I have seen snippets of the video and I have heard pieces of the song from TikTok and Instagram and other places on the internet. And I've seen and heard enough. Now, I told y'all on TikTok that this video looks like a knockoff of the Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice Barbie World video. As more snippets of this video have been released, I continue to be vindicated because some of y'all said that I was reaching and I'm like, mm, you know what, maybe so. But as I've seen more, I'm like, no, I'm not reaching. Like, you really are copying. So let's start off with this. Lotto claims that she don't like Ice Spice. She claims that she don't rock with Nicki anymore, but yet she continues to copy everywhere, every inch. This video is mostly pink, and we got Lotto uh, at some point doing like the giant doll look that we saw Nicki Minaj do in Barbie World. And it's like, again, it's crazy how you claim that you don't like somebody, but then you continue to copy them. Like at this point, you looking like Cardi B, because we know Cardi B was doing that. Throwing shade constantly, claiming that she don't rock with Nicki, you know, Nicki this, Nicki that, but you changing your face, you dressing up like Harajuku Barbie and Chun-Li, like you, you're blatantly copying her style. And I'm watching Lotto follow that same path, like, Lately, Lotto has been incorporating a lot of pink into her brand. Every time you turn around, she's in a pink vehicle, you know, or wearing pink or just, you know, trying to do the pink thing. And it's like, well, we know who has made pink a big part of their brand. So again, it's like, well, do you, do you not like Nicki or not? And we know that Lotto is very inspired by Nicki Minaj. This is somebody who got a, a fucking tweet framed that Nikki sent to her or talked about her and put it on her wall. So she's very inspired. But it's like, you don't have to be, again, bitter and disgruntled. You was the one that recorded this lady's phone call. Like nobody told you to go do some crazy ass, like snake ass shit like that. You recorded her phone call. She tried to give you advice. You thought that she was too good to listen to it. And that's why you are still on the bubbling under charts. And again, people have tried to tell this damn girl, why would you make a song like Brokey that is so mean-spirited and energy in a time where the economy is so bad? And I know y'all are going to say, well, everybody else in the rap industry, stay calling people broken in music. I get that, but Lotto made an entire song antagonizing and teasing the very people that she wants to buy her music. Like, I just don't get it. Again, and people on TikTok tried to tell you, like, this song is very tone deaf for the economy that we're in, but yet you continue to double down and make a video to promote this song as if you don't have um, a bunch of other songs on this album that you could promote. But again, what I've noticed about Lotto is she's very hard headed. This is somebody who's very arrogant and you can't tell her anything. And the black community is responsible for some of that because anytime you critique this girl, the main thing people are gonna say is, oh, you just mad because she likes skin. Like, why does everything in our community have to boil down to skin color and colorism? Like, that is so dry. Y'all are so late and dry with that. This ain't got nothing to do with people being mad that this girl is light skin. This has everything to do with Lotto having a very grating personality that is not jiving with people. And again, that's why she is bubbling under. That's why she has not gone to that next level like she wants to go. Again, the Cardi B feature really didn't serve her much. Like the song came and went, Cardi B is flopping. She's doing PR stunts and running crypto scams to try to keep her career alive. So again, you tried to go at Nicki Minaj and it didn't help you. You continue to try to shade Nicki Minaj in your music videos and in your songs and we keep catching you copying her though. Again, wh wh why was you a big giant lotto in this video? And again, we, we got the same it's like shots of you standing up, you know, looking back, being the big doll, just like we have again for Nicki Minaj and Barbie Girl. 
pink walls, pink room, all of this shit, just like we had for Nicki Minaj in, in Ice Spice and Barbie World. And it's like, again, we've caught you copying several people, copying Ice Spice, copying Sexy Red, copying Nicki Minaj. And this is why people say you don't have an identity because you don't. You morph in and out of other female rappers at your will. Just like a lot of, again, people who are racially ambiguous can morph in and out of cultures at their will. You are white passing, but you keep doubling down on a black scent that is not authentic because, you know, you get to use your proximity to, well, my dad is black and I'm screwing somebody black. So who I don't want y'all to know about, but I keep dragging, you know, this dry ass PR relationship on. So my proximity to living in ATL and, you know what I mean, blackness gives me the right to say the N-word and borrow a black set and steal from Rennie Rucci and steal from Princess Richie and, you know, other lesser known female rappers. I get to bite them, again, more stealing, more colonizer behavior. And y'all just got to let me ride because, you know, I'm from ATL and my daddy black. Like, it's just really dry, Lotto. It's really, really dry. And it's shit like that while you keep rubbing people the wrong way. And like I tried to tell y'all before, this whole Nunu act is industry games and rituals because y'all know that they have artists try to imitate, again, they'll try to imitate a movie or imitate, again, characters. Like everybody's playing a character and that's what we're seeing with Lotto. When we look at Nunu and ACL, Nunu was playing a character, okay? Nunu felt like she wouldn't be accepted because she had money. She felt like being wealthy is not black, okay? Just like Lotto feels like being biracial or being super light-skinned with naturally sandy blonde hair is not black enough, even though she has a black parent, she feels like that is not black enough, so she needs to go again put on this hood persona get this black scent just like nunu i need to go put on a hood persona hang out in black spaces put on a black scent you know walk around talking in, in ebonics because that is blackness which is a damn shame because all you're doing is validating that you believe that ignorance and low vibrational bullshit is blackness you think blackness comes down to again playing a caricature you think it's an outfit that you can just take on and off and so this is what you do to be accepted by people in the black community because you feel like being yourself is not black enough. And that's what's really rubbing us the wrong way. And like I tried to tell y'all before, y'all have an issue with separating the character from the actress. Lauren London was liked in the movie ATL because she's attractive. But the character Nunu turned the other characters off eventually with all of the pretending and all of the cosplaying. She eventually had to own up to that shit because like people was like, oh, you've been faking and lying and pretending this whole time. Like, and that rubs people the wrong way. But again, y'all not putting that shit together. That's why I told y'all again before, Nunu wasn't really like a favorite in the movie. Like we started off kind of liking her, and then in the end, it was like, no, this bitch is a pretender. So we, I'm seeing the same thing with Lotto, okay? You know, and the industry is really, again, making her um, fall into that role because it's exposing that she is an imposter. And if y'all continue to support her music and support what she's doing, then that just means that you're okay with her, again, parading around and cosplaying in your culture. So just understand that. Let's talk in the comments. How do you feel about the Brokey song and video? Do you think she's Biden Nicki Minaj? Do you think she's not? Because I definitely think, again, the main person who she keep trying to, again, attack and claim she don't really fuck with, she's, keep, uh, she's biting their style and it's just really not working for me. So let's talk in the comments. I'm hit y'all the next one. Bye.